So morning guys, this is a revisit of the video I did, just let the cars come past here. So you remember how we said about old Ford Cottage having a tunnel associated with it, supposedly built just about from about under there somewhere back out to Abertsham Cliffs and I said at the time I don't know how they could do that what would you do with all the spoil well I just turn around Abertsham Cliffs is about five miles in that direction over there And you're going to get a great big mountain of spoil from that. So let's uh, go and have a look and see what we can see on that. So we've got Ford Cottage over there, just over there, just over the top of Steve's boatyard. I do know the owner of this land, so he won't shoot at me for being here. Uh, straight ahead we've got the old Biddeford Bridge obviously the bridge wouldn't have been here when the Ford was here so that's the Biddeford Bridge right in the background don't know whether you can see that guys is the new A39 bridge and that's out to sea that way so we're heading just there so let's jump in the car and head that way this time Instead of turning up towards Abbotsham and off that way, we're going down towards the town centre and the old Long Bridge. Hopefully you can see that guys. I can't see what you're seeing on the screen. I've got to come up with a solution for that. It's a lovely morning out there, bearing in mind it's been wet for a week or two. So we're going over to East of the Water now. now. East of the Water is part of Biddeford, although they did declare independence at one time. Uh, they put in their own mayor, stuff like that. Bit of a, a funny old town, East of the Water. Um, Although they, obviously the East of the Water people say that about Biddeford, so we're not going to get into that argument. Where we're going is the old railway yard. Old station's just up there on the right. Got the Royal Hotel here. Pull in a car park here, but we actually want to go across the road here, so just going to pull up quickly. Okay, let's get out and have a look, see what we can see. Okay, so we're on the quay, and I can't remember the name now, but I will leave a gap here. So we're here, and we was over by that white building, the other side of the bridge there. Now this was a railway yard here. Um, so all the way down that way, beyond those blue buildings, down that 
line of lights down there. All this would have been railway sidings. There was another couple of buildings here. Um, you see the old buildings here. This is up for redevelopment. It's taken a long time to get the planning permission. Probably five, six years from what? Even longer than that, I would have thought, because we were going to buy, looked at buying that bungalow up there. And it had planning permission on this area here, which, to be honest, would have been quite nice rather than looking at this lot. But anyway, but it's it looks quite a good development, so it will bring money to the town. So what we've come over here for <laughs> is this set of buildings in front of us. And it was the one thing I forgot when I filmed the other film saying I don't know how you could dig a hole in you know in this sort of ground but that through there was an old mine shaft um, and it dug out something called Biddy Black which is a colm it's not so much a coal but a colm um, it's a soft coal I've got some more video of that, I'll just cut to that while we move on, so. So yeah, could you dig a hole in the ground in Biddeford? But you notice there's no spoil heaps. And obviously this railway yard must have had something to do with that, so. Let's take this a little bit further and jump in the car again. So this road here is called Mines Road. goes down there to the left it says it's a dead end but it's only a dead end because they've cut a uh, bypass type road through it Let's go around to the other side of Mines Road and see what we can see. So as you can see, there's all these little tracks along here. This one's quite steep. It's been raining for a few days, so it's well slippery as well.
and then we come across a mine entrance again this was a biddy black mine First clean the cobweb. I'm not going in, it's too small a hole for me. The light's not powerful enough. Well, that goes off into the heel side and then follows the coal seam right the way out and wait for it right the way out to Abertsham Cliffs so guys in the old days Ford Cottage, could they have built a tunnel out to Abertsham Cliffs? What would they have done with the spoil? Well basically, dig a coal mine and sell the spoil. So let me tell you a little bit about the spoil. So it wasn't coal as such. It was a, uh, a very soft coal. It's difficult to spot in this. Whether you see difference in the materials there, look. Because it's wet today, it's difficult to spot it, but it's... Uh, was used in lime kilns, it wasn't a very efficient coal but it had other uses, mainly in paint and as black dye you can actually see it in the water there so yeah, black dye um, used in makeup uh, Max Factor used it a lot, um, particularly when the black and white films came out. Uh, the actresses you'll notice usually heavily made up in black and white films, and that's Max Factor makeup. That's basically the coal dye from here. All this, the stuff that they dug out of here. When I walk up, I'll show you where that came from, or went to. But all the stuff that was dug out here you know, all the stuff that was dug out here basically made its way down to the railway yard where we was and on to the trains there then out towards London, wherever I suppose I can't get around the other side, I tried this the other week if I could get round to the other side I could follow it down the valley I'll stop you now because I'm out of breath and I'll show you roughly where it came out so guys, um, I've just pulled up here outside Sam's place. Um, this is at the bottom of the uh, the valley there. The river goes across in front of us somewhere. And we initially thought this is where it all came out, but this was a processing plant, as far as I'm aware. And we're on the old Barnstable Road, not the new one. Um, and we'll follow that back down into Biddeford itself so it makes sense that it came this way but just 
get you guys viewing forward. I can't see the monitor. I'm going to have to get myself a separate monitor. Let's just follow this. So like I said, this is the old Biddeford Road. There's various little things I can see in the hedges here, but supposedly the tramway came down to either the processing plant here, or it, it turned through and went, followed along the left hand side of this road. There's a Tesco's to the left of us now, a big housing estate, so everything's gone there. But the old Barnstable Road used to go straight across there. And I'm guessing that the tramway would have followed through there, across there somewhere, just looking at old maps and that. And that's where we cross that little bypassy type road. interesting we've just be just behind me I'm not going to spin the camera around and point straight up somebody's driveway but there's Sultan's Lodge the Sultan's was another mine so that's interesting so that would mean that the tramway came down here on our left hand side behind these houses that would have been here should be able to see we're back at the key with the railway yards right in front of us now, interestingly enough on old maps we're on a bridge at the minute but on old maps and there it is there was a bridge that came across and there it is there let's go and have a look at that let's find somewhere to pull up, looks like the car park again. Okay, so the railway yard would have been in front of us there. And across there. This bridge that's here is a later addition. Not a lot later. But basically they brought the railway line past the railway yard and up to the, the uh, new station up there. Now, this bridge was put in because the coal yard still was working. And the trams would have come across that. And then I'll cut to a wooden bridge going across the main road. And again, bear in mind that the railway came to my left hand side and that was altered afterwards. And supposedly, we was at that bridge over there, that little thin bridge. And then that came down roughly at the height of that house and then across into here. Let's 
go on and see what else we can see guys. So if we look at the rocks here, they're in layers, they're all squashed up to form V shapes and that where the Earth's crust has moved. But can you see the dark layer there? And that's where the coal seam comes out at one point on the beach here. It also drains water through it as well. And like I said, it's a porous type coal. It's not a coal you associate, you know, with fires and things. It's a more of a clay type coal. You see where people have dug lumps out because you can draw with it, it's a bit like charcoal, it, it, you know? And like I say, it was used as a paint dye, as a makeup. Uh, camouflage paint, you know, the, the army guys. mixed with other materials to make it into a, a camouflage paint for for the men and the tanks to be honest so in answer to my own question was could you build a tunnel from Ford Cottage in Biddeford down here to Abbotson Cliffs, to Green Cliff. Well, I suppose if you followed the coal seam, I mean, this is only one point where it comes out. I can see another point just down there. I can't get round the corner behind me because I'm not sure if the tide's coming in or out at the minute, but. So yeah, could you build the tunnel? Of course you could, just follow the coal and sell the waste product. <laughs> 